Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are, what are we doing today? Well, I got the kitchen clean and got a grocery delivery done and the pool opens in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put these groceries away, get ready to go to the pool and then Emmett and Lane are coming over to play. Hopefully get a few things done around the house, get ready for the week. And that's it. So thought I'd do a quick little grocery haul because I've heard that some of you enjoy those. So let me get it all set up. Alrighty, here we go. We got the Horrible Redenbacher Smart Pop kettle corn. I tried to get two kettle corns, but I think they accidentally got a kettle corn and a butter. Libby loves the kettle corn and I eat the butter, so we're fine. Um, eight bananas, and then we use this tomato sauce for pasta and for our little pizzas. Tomatoes and avocados, our Splenda for our coffee. Um, I've already opened these for the puppies. Those are their treats. And then some different shredded cheeses, the Fiesta and the mozzarella for our pizzas. And then some onions, cherry tomatoes, whole wheat, English muffins for our um, breakfast sandwiches that we have when we get back from the pool. And then over here we have some fresh spinach, some sugar-free Kool-Aid because we're children here. <laughs> and then um, I have a problem. I love these chips, so I always make sure I have some on stock. Um, and then some chocolate chip because, chocolate chips, because I always make sure I have some of those on stock because I keep chocolate chip cookie dough on hand so I can just pop one or two cookies in the oven for us at night when we want a cookie. And then I always have the hummus for my chips. And then I bought each of us a an electric toothbrush because, you know, I went to the dentist the first time in seven years and she suggested I use an electric toothbrush and because Libby takes such good care of her teeth, she wanted one too. <laughs> so that is our grocery haul for today. And now the cutie patooties want to go outside. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? There you go. Go get them. It's kind of nice out. So they're going to go look and see if they can chase anything down. I don't know if you can see them over my messy table. Yeah, so that is it. I'm going to put that away and have a little bit of time before I go to the pool. So I will probably read or maybe put in another load of laundry. I have a ton to fold. I hate folding laundry. That's the only thing that I procrastinate at. Oh, and look, my flowers are still doing pretty good from Easter. I put some Sprite in them today because my dad used to do that with roses and they would last forever. Um, so I tried it. He used 7-Up, but I only had Sprite. So I'm going to try it and see if they'll last longer. Are you back? Did you go outside and take care of business? Are you ready for a carrot? Can you sing? Can you sing for a carrot? Show them how you sing. Oh, that's lip syncing. You gotta make noise. Sing. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, here comes Mr. Thing. You want a carrot too? He doesn't know how to sing. When you tell him to sing, he beats on your stomach. Jake, can you sing? See, he like pounds on my stomach. Jake, sing. <laughs> there you go. 
Thank you. <laughs> I love them. Hi everybody, welcome back. So it is Sunday night and Emmett and Lane are here and I am making dinner. So this is the um, asparagus that I bought for Easter that we need to eat up because this is all the stuff that snapped off already. So we've got to eat all this before it goes bad. So I thought I would make a version of the TikTok pasta with the, I had a leftover um, orjone cheese. I don't know how you say it, but I thought I would make that TikTok pasta and show you how I'm doing it or a version of it, my version of it. So let me get this going and I'll show you how I'm making it. I used these handy dandy little scissors and I cut this asparagus up into bite sized pieces. I don't know if there's Maggiano's everywhere, but there's this restaurant called Maggiano's that has an asparagus pasta that Libby gets every time we go. So when she heard we were going to be making pasta, she was all excited because we had asparagus that we could put in it. So that is why we're using the asparagus. I put the cheese in the middle of the dish and now I am spreading minced garlic around on top of the asparagus and I have two containers of cherry tomatoes that I put on top and mix around as well and I have this handy dandy olive oil sprayer that I'm spraying olive oil all over and mixing the ingredients all up. And then I have Italian seasoning that I sprinkle on top. I ground some fresh pepper on top of that. Stir it all up. And if I were going to make this again, I would have cut up the cherry tomatoes because they get very hot and are hard to mash up after they've been cooked. I top that with Parmesan cheese, put it in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm putting all the um, asparagus stalks that weren't usable into my compost out in my backyard. So the right side there is my the one I'm currently using that I put my compost in. And then the left side is the one that was from last year that I'm still spinning to create compost. And then here's some cute puppy content. And then I have the water boiling for the pasta and there is the dish. It's just been a rough day for you and me. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's watch where Buster's going. And by that I mean me watch where I'm going. Emmett and I, being the cheese heads that we are, felt that it needed another um, slab of cheese, but Libby and Lane felt it was perfect. Yeah, the juice. juice. Do you want the masher? I have a seat. Do you want me to take this? Yeah. 
And this is what I was talking about when I said I would have preferred to have cut the cherry tomatoes in half before cooking them, because when we were mashing them up here, they were squirting out hot tomato juice. And if you didn't smash them up here and got a whole one when you were eating it, it put that hot tomato juice in your mouth. We're gonna try a bite. You've one of everything, you don't have a tomato. Okay. It's good. Now it's Tuesday morning and our pool was closed because of a staff meeting. So I decided to get up early and do some food prep. I'm gonna make some breakfast sandwiches a little different than the last time. So I thought I'd share with you how I do it. So here I am trying to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites and I am not very successful. The egg yolks kept falling into the bowl and I kept having to fish them out. Woohoo, I got one. <laughs> so I'm trying to make these a little bit healthier than the other ones that I was making um, by using egg whites and whole wheat English muffins. Um, so, but I kind of struggle because I don't know what to do with egg yolks besides making a meringue, which I don't make anything with a meringue. So if you have any suggestions on what I can do with egg yolks, please do let me know. Libby suggests I plant egg flowers because she won't let me have chickens. I'm just kidding. If I could take care of chickens, we'd have chickens. These are the sun-dried tomatoes that I got from Trader Joe's that I'm gonna be adding into the eggs. And this bell pepper was just about ready to, it really needed to be cut up and used. So I used that up as well. And here I am off screen giving Otis a little bit. He's our, our little vegetarian dog. He loves vegetables. So he always gets a little bit of the vegetables dogs are allowed to eat. Um, in fact, he gets more carrots than real dog treats.
Here's the leftover ham from Easter. I have to use it all up or it's probably time pretty soon to get rid of it. So I put the rest of it in with our eggs as well, but I'm really making sure to trim off any of the fat. Here I get out my Pyrex baking pan and spray it with some olive oil cooking spray. And I put in my egg mixture that I've made. Make sure I get every last drop in there and spread out all the vegetables and ham evenly. And then I open up my spinach here. And the reason I didn't cook up the vegetables is I find that the spinach gets so watery when you um, fry it up in a pan and if I bake it like this it doesn't get watery and make the eggs I don't know it, I think it's a funny funny type of texture so if I just put it like this on the top it's a little crunchier the eggs cook better for me texture wise does that make sense now as I put that in the oven at 375 for about 35 minutes, I'm going to be preparing the English muffins. And these are the whole grain English muffins that I'm going to slice, even though they say they're pre-sliced. But I always have to slice them with a knife to get them to cut in half. And then I put them in the toaster oven. I put three in at a time. And I'm quite the multitasker. I don't know if you noticed in the background, I'm also um, popping a bag of popcorn for Libby to take with her in her lunch sack. And now I am cutting up fruit for her to take as well. Um, she usually has lunch with her boss when she goes into the office, but I always send her with snacks of fruit, popcorn. Um, this day I sent her with edamame. Yeah, so I'm getting that ready for her as she gets ready to go into the office. Is this not the cutest lunchbox? Libby got it for Christmas if you guys didn't watch our Vlogmas videos. And she takes it to work with her for sure. So now it's my turn to get my coffee ready for work. And I am going to make some cold brew that I keep in the refrigerator. I get my cold brew off of Amazon, or this is from last summer. So I can't even tell you what kind it is because I took it out of the box and keep it in a jar, but they're like tea bags that I just put into this pitcher um, and leave them overnight. And the next day I have cold brew. And then I'm using my Trader Joe's brown sugar 
non-dairy oat milk. Here I feel like I'm pulling down my treasure chest and it is our Splenda. And I use four packets for this big cup. Oh, actually it's three when I use the brown sugar oat milk. Um, in this day, I was trying so hard not to completely fill up my cup of coffee, but then at the last minute I decided what the heck, and I topped it off with the rest of the cold brew in there, in the pitcher. I even so much as put the lid on before I topped it off. Yep, see, here I go. I'm trying so hard to be good. And I'm like, nope, I'm gonna top it off. But it's not all bad. I'm also gonna drink my Stanley cup full of water as I prepare it here to take into the office too. I just double fisted all day. My next stop is to do the dishes. I have the sink full of salt water soaking my apples to make sure they don't have any bugs or anything that could poison us. Fill my pitcher back up with water so that it can be pure through the filter and I do these dishes and I'm realizing now that I had the camera on a really bad angle so you really can't see what I can do what I'm doing but I am doing the dishes someday I'll figure out how to be a good youtuber Getting all the apples to fit into this bowl so they could dry was like a game of Tetris. Now I put a new bag into my cold brew pitcher and I'm filling it up with warm water. Putting the lid on and I'm gonna do a little shake dance to get it all stirred up and I'll put it in the fridge for 24 hours and then I'll have cold brew again tomorrow morning. And of course, I'm all done doing the dishes, had the sink all cleaned out, and Libby brought me some more dirty dishes. Every morning, every morning. She just loves, loves to watch me do the dishes.
and I decide that the trash and the recycling are overflowing. So I get them ready to take outside and Libby comes and saves the day and offers to take them out for me. So then because the sink is all cleaned out, I decide I need to scrub the garbage can and recycling lids. Does anyone else do that? They continually wash things after they've cleaned the sink out because after this, I'm gonna have to wash the egg dish and the dishes that I use to make the breakfast sandwiches. I just, it's never ending for me. And that's my Blue Land all-purpose cleaner and I use that to clean around where the trash cans were in case anything, any food crumbs or anything spill over because you know we have little critters that I'm not sure if they're gone or not. I'm always afraid they're around so I try really hard not to leave any food anywhere. Now it's time to get my breakfast sandwiches put together. I'm gonna to put one together real quick so Libby can take it on the road with her. And there's that one for her. I'm gonna say goodbye real quick and then put the rest together. So I have two more squares of the egg concoction. So I decide I'm going to toast up four slices of gluten-free toast and make egg sandwiches for me on toast. Um, Libby likes the English muffins, so I'll save those for her and I will have mine on toast. I don't eat them very often. Libby eats them more often than I do. Now it's time to clean up the bedroom. It's always a challenge to get the bed made, but it's important to me to try to get it made every day. I hate getting into an unmade bed at night. Is anyone else that way? I just, I need at least my feet to be where there are no wrinkles. Yet another probably OCD thing. I hate wrinkles down by my feet. As you can see, the challenge of making a bed is when you have two little dogs. But look at how cute they are helping me make the bed. So when I get it made, I give them two treats for help in and then I pick up all the things around the bed. A lot of times it is mangled toys that Jake has torn up before we go to bed at night. Then I open the windows for my plants and clean up any laundry that has been spewed about from the night before. And I grab my humidifier tank. I'm gonna go fill that up. Make sure my plants get some humidity for the day. And then I gotta give my dogs some love and affection and tell them what good boys they are for helping me make the bed, put my shoes away, and then the bedroom's ready to go. Then it's this room. And if you believe it or not, I have been working on it, but yikes. So I do come in here and kind of clean off my desk to get ready for the day. I'm gonna fill up my humidifier for my plants in here. And this is a Levat humidifier. Bought it especially for the plants. Um, sometimes I can't have it on in here because it makes it too cold when I'm working. And then I have some garden seeds that I had planted over there that I'm making sure have water for the day and I'm ready to get to work. 
Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching this video and my morning routine when I don't swim and all the cooking and just enjoying my weekend and my Tuesday morning. Um, thank you so much for watching and please do like and subscribe, comment below, um, let me know what you do with your egg yolks if you um, separate your eggs and use your egg whites and egg yolks separately. Hope you have a wonderful day, night, week, wherever you are, whatever you do. And don't forget to don't sweat the small stuff. Thanks. Bye-bye.